Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are once again going to be in Satisfactory today. A uh, little bit of housekeeping first, I should let everyone know that if you are supporting me on Patreon, then you have access to my Satisfactory blueprints. And that's not just from the Cybertron save, that's from the Devastator save as well. So I've been playing that save for five years and granted blueprints have not been available for the full five years, but I have quite a few handy blueprints in that save, some of which are exact copies of how I've laid out the Devastator factory. So there will be more uh, blueprints coming in the Cybertron save, of course. I may even copy some of my old ones over just to kind of speed things up a little bit. Uh, but if you are a patron, then you'll have access to that. There's a link in the Discord. There's a link in chat. If you do bang blueprints, then you'll get access to that link. Uh, you will have to be a patron if you want to download. Uh, it's one of the things I'd like to do to thank everyone that supports me on Patreon for both my Minecraft content and my Satisfactory content. So uh, that's it. That's for the news. There's no, there's nothing else to report since yesterday. We were just streaming yesterday. Uh, Cosmic Dancers in chat. Hello. Bali's in chat. Dan, of course, is here kicking things off. Hope you're having a good day, everyone. Uh, I have uh, my Satisfactory mug ready to go. Hot coffee. Thanks again to Cosmic Dancer for the, the gift of the mug. We haven't picked up the mug in game. I've been too precious with my tickets. That's something we really, really need to sort out today. I, I need to get some Sam going uh, in a more of a permanent way. And I need to get um, some tickets going in a more permanent way. We're also working on the um the foundry not the foundry well we will be working on a foundry but the the forge the the smeltery the iron hired smeltery is uh, is up and running i did make some changes and we'll go over those in a minute i might as well switch over here get into the game so i logged in last night just to tidy things up there was a bunch of stuff that was just in the way of screenshots and what i ended up doing was wrapping things around and i'll show you in a minute um, at the end of yesterday, I had turned all of this off and I didn't want to be at a stalemate, um, not producing anything for the space elevator because we have so many, uh, parts to, um, send up to the space elevator. So we have the smart plating set aside. We have some versatile framework happening here, but what we were not doing was our own steel. Uh, and we were falling behind on that. I'm also going to unlock some other alternate recipes as well. We're going to have to do some hard drive hunting today. But if I go down, you'll see what I did was I switched our foundries are now doing the solid steel ingot recipe. So instead of iron ore, they're taking an iron ingot. And instead of three, they're only taking two and still producing three steel ingots. So it became 50% cheaper. Uh, after we smelted the iron and all I did was take our belt of iron that we have running down this this line of the smelters and just turn it around I just wrapped it around this way and sent it back and so we're pulling from that here uh, and then we're also sending that into a few constructors down here that were previously unhooked and now we're just we're overfeeding. This is not efficient. This is just basically to get some things moving. But everything here is being produced at least in some way. It's not f perfectly balanced. It's not fast. It's just like we're doing rotors. We're doing modular frames. Um, obviously, we're doing quite a few modular frames. I feel like here the bottleneck is steel beams probably. Yeah. Uh, but that's good because I, I want to be able to have some of these because we don't... Um, we're not uh, making these and storing them yet. They're currently all being produced just for modular, um, for versatile framework. So to have these to grab is very nice. Actually, this might be the easier way to get them. This is probably backed up. Yes, I will take that. Somewhere along here. It might be worth putting signs of these now. That's the other thing we might want to do. How are we doing for tickets? Another two. I want to unlock a lot of cosmetics. I want to unlock a lot of decoration stuff today. This is the only two tickets that we have. Uh, are we waiting for more? We're probably waiting for more. Yeah, it doesn't need to be 100%. I think the first, your starter factory just needs to make stuff for your inventory. That's the main thing, right? I don't think I want anything here just yet. 
organization. It would be nice to have some other signs. That would be cool for decoration. Or I could wait and we can get one of the finishes. Um, there's also angled walls. I really want the triangle walls. Uh, oh, those are two. Okay, we'll wait. We'll see if we can, what we can do to store up some tickets. What I'm going to do is attempt to put some other stuff in there. I also need to change this recipe. This is doing encased beams. I need to do pipes. And that means unlocking it in here. Concrete. Steel frame. Fused wire. Alternate encased industrial pipe. That's the one that I want. Molded beam is also really good. I'm going to look this up on the drive sheet just to make sure. Go to this and it's encased beams. I think this is up to date for 1.0. I don't think I've made any I don't think there's anything that has to be... Oh, no. I think this is all up to date. Ah, there's only the one alternate recipe. Alright, well, that, that tears it then. Easy breezy. We do this one. Case industrial pipe. Oh, uh, pipes are a lot cheaper to make than beams. So it saves you a lot of time and energy. So we just switch this to the alt and then we'll do concrete and pipes, which should be over here. We need these for the new belts. That's the issue. I should keep some for myself. Cool. And we've got some there. We also have a hundred motors, so that's good. So one thing I'm doing that I don't need to do here is split this off. going to be in the way of our design. I'll leave that open. And one thing I can do here, is this do an overflow or is this, this is a smart splitter, yeah. Overflow any, none. Okay, cool. So this will still produce what it needs to be producing and then anything extra is just going to go in for tickets. However, I really want to do something better than that for tickets. I feel like Quickwire was also a decent shout for tickets. We don't have much to spare. I think that was those. Got no beams there. Concrete. Table. Let's take a quick trip with the tractor and see what we've got. For quick wire. Can't do much around here when it's dark anyway. We should have a good amount of quick wire. I also need to unlock the, um, the zip line. That'll help us when we're out looking for hard drives. Up, 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 up. 
Well, we're not full, so that's good. Got the right size containers out here. Happy for that. Realizing that I keep on driving around these little rocks. Maybe we can blow them up. Oh, I don't have my stuff on me. Never mind. We'll do it next time. So let's put this in here. No. Since we've got a constant stream of it, it should be, we'll unlock some stuff here. Um, 100 of those, 10 rebar, stun rebar, and plastic. So it's really, I just need a couple of rebar. Oh, I don't have the basic gun unlocked, I don't think. I don't remember where that is. Where's the rebar gun? Is it here? Ah. Crap. Well, we need five. All right, well, I can't do that then just yet. Um, can we do, we can do that one. 50 plastic. 50 plastic. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do the 50 plastic. So we still need more before we... We never had the 400 anyway. I'd rather go through the tree. We're going to have to make another trip back to the... Um, oil fields anyway. Still getting used to tractor controls. Drove my first tractor into the water yesterday. Yeah, they're a little bit tricky. Uh, one thing you can do... Research is the C completed. key. High-speed connector recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. Uh, use the C key, I think it is, to change your camera. Um, you'll get a free look camera, which I find easier to drive. You can see where you're going before you turn the tractor. It's basically like instead of first person, it turns it into sort of a third person, even though the camera is always behind you in the tractor. Um, I do find the free look camera a lot easier to look around and see where the path might be. Uh, that's usually a good, good way to go. Uh, high speed connectors. What do those take to make? Ooh. Quick wire and cable. Well, that's easy. And a circuit board? Oh. Those are not easy. Well, okay then. And those take plastic. I'm not using plastic on those just yet. That means that we're at the end of the Caterium Road for now. Until I unlock the rebar. I could do power switches. I'll wait until I have more pipes for that. AI limiters. Right. Okay.
So we need to kill at least five enemies. Yep. We'll say eight enemies because that six inventory slots would also be very helpful. Six, eight, or more. Yeah, kill six to eight enemies. Uh, man. Power slugs, more megafauna bits. Did that. And I also need more Sam. So for the Sam, we're going to need a Mark II Miner. We're going to need storage bin and probably a constructor. What is the recipe for animated Sam. Okay. Structure. I'm going to need some power lines. Use a big bin. Uh, and a dimensional depot would be cool if I could do it. That would be very cool. That might be tricky. Uh, Mercer Sphere. Grab that. Don't have any more power shards either. We'll turn those. Just starting your weekend, Bali. Friday is your day off. Very cool. My weekends and weeks tend to bleed together. Sunday's my main day off, um, but I also, I have pretty relaxed mornings during the week. I tend to work from 1 to 4 to 5 is the stream, but then mornings sometimes I have, like, admin stuff I have to do and, like, stream prep. Like, today I prepped that post for Patreon and made sure that the blueprints are out there available for people. And other times I have to do banking. My, my parents stop by for a quick you know, quick visit this morning. It's nice to, at home to be able to do that and like take the time. Uh, what else do we need for the Sam? Um, I'm missing some stuff on the right hand side here. Oh no, we're good for everything except for the Sam fluctuator and that's fine. I knew I wasn't going to be able to make those. I do want to see what we're doing over here for our bin. Oh, fantastic. Check our rotors as well. Nice. And there's elevators and other stuff that I would need. Should be good. So I do know where the Sam is. It's just very, very hard to get to. And I have ladders now, so we should be okay. I don't know if you can get to it down there. I can blow stuff up now, though. This might be an easy way to get to the Sam.
This might just be a slug, I don't know. Guess we have to wait for this stuff to go away? Can I walk through it? Oh, I can walk through it, okay. Don't want to fall off an edge here. There we go. Oh, it's a Mercer Sphere. We need those anyway. Live, laugh, consume. This looks to be a dead end. Lots of bacon mushrooms, though. Yeah, so it's um, it's the C key. So if I press C, it locks the camera. I can't use my mouse at all to change perspective. It's just your your W A S D keys. But if I hit C again, then I can turn the camera around. And I find that that's handy when you want to like see which way to turn. I find it's a lot easier to kind of look before you leap. Because you find I find you want to look around while you're driving. Speaking of, collect some bits. So this is where we're supposed to go down, I think. I can scan for Sam now. Hundred and forty three meters. Oh yeah, that's right in front of me. I don't think I've made a Sam color yet. I've used it in the other playthrough. So we'll start with quartz. Sam is pretty purple. More of a magenta, I guess. Call it near on the compass and apply. So it is down the bottom. It looks like it's underneath everything. Do I have my gas mask on me? I do. Do I have filters? Don't. I do. Okay. We can blow these guys up anyway. So, one thing. Oh, they actually die now. They used to just disappear. That's cool. Does it have an eyeball? It has an eye. Or what looks like an eye. That was cool. I don't think I've ever realized that they had eyeballs. Hold on. Oh, yeah, on the side. I mean, it could be something like... You know how... <laughs> excuse me. Monarch butterflies have patterns that look like eyes and some some insects have wings and things that look more suspicious that actually could be meant to be a face you know i don't know if that's a pattern or if that's actually meant to be like a an animal inside the thing So it's a long way down. However, one advantage we have is foundations and ladders. And 
somewhere. Architecture. There we go. We also have a jetpack, which helps a lot too. And there it is right there. Sweet. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Clever, clever. Okay. Don't want to angry the spider guy. Please and thank you. Of course you're going to stand by the thing. Alright, I'll get this first. Harvest. Rock Giant, hello! Thanks for the lurk. The force of effigy creates bodies in their waves that does not notice the shore. Is our melody not beautiful? Detecting abnormal brainwave activity again. Activating artificial brainwave resonator. Your shallow song has no rhythm. The river roots our temples without prayers and washes away our scripture without deepening. Consume. I believe this is one of those moments where the scientist would yell, Eureka, but that seems entirely too dramatic. <laughs> it seems they are somehow organically emulating human speech. Fascinating. Continue exposing yourself to alien artifacts. That was a weird pause. So, I'm going to try to get this up. as close to here as I can. So, I'll probably use that as the marker. Do walls. a little off in terms of where I placed the first one. That needs to be out farther anyway. So I don't actually have uh, the gate walls yet. For the bear walls. But this, I think, will be a decent way to do this. I also need to go up and do a floor hole, which I do have. Because I'm going to bring this up high. Get it out of here. I 
Only one more. Oh, I didn't want to get rid of the tree. Oh well. Sometimes you have to do the things, I guess. Now, where did that go? I think it's the other one. So to get this up, I should be able to just use a floor hole, like in that area. Can someone explain what we are building in the cave valley thing? Is there a resource or something? Yeah, that's the Sam. Uh, the strange alien matter is down the bottom and we need it to progress and get our dimensional depot which is basically like cloud storage on the go I'm gonna go up to one more I think So we should be able to connect this now. If I can reach it, it's the only thing. I may have to add another floor hole. We'll see. I didn't check to see what purity that was. Nuts. I'm assuming it's probably pure. Well, we've got the ladder. It's fine. I need to figure out what belt speed I need to put this on. Ah, got it. Not gonna lie. All I've seen of this game is some of your Transformers save. Uh, so this is the same theme. We're, we're doing the Transformers theme again, but this is... You mean the Devastator? Yeah, we've, we're in a different area. This is pure. You are gross. So we can crank that up to 300 per minute, which means we need the Mark IV. I guess I should start down here. It should be that position. Now we should be able to get this all the way up. Floor holes allow you to do like a super long reach. They might have a limit. We'll see. I might have to do a, like a mid, a mid floor hole. So that's giving me a stomping point. However, there we go. Uh, let's go that way. So if you need things going up a really, really long way, the floor holes are definitely the way to go. Man, some of those branches are absolutely designed to look like spider legs when you look up. I thought there was a dozen of those things. 
<laughs> Hanging out at the top. Woof. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Yikes. Alright. The uh, jetpack ran out. I'll have to take the long way. Yeah, where's McScrewgun when you need him? I'm, do jetpacks running out count as... as, uh... falling? I don't know. So we've got 300 sand per minute, and that is going to go into a constructor. Uh, these things really take the SAM and, and, and smash it down, so... Uh, reanimated SAM, it's only it's 120 per minute, so we could probably just underclock this to be like 100. Um, rather than doing 240... We could underclock and do 100. So, what is that? 120 to 30. So that's 25%. So if I did 25. How's Joel's for math? Good. Good, it's good. Okay. So we'll just set up a quick situation here. Let's put you over this way. You're in the way, flightless bird. Oh, he's a big one. I didn't realize he was a big one. You get stuff? I think the birds don't drop anything. I think they used to. Birds and the ticks don't drop anything. Structure. And then we can just do. I'm fine with just a manifold here. I don't think we need to do anything too fancy. Needs 100, so that's going to be mark 2. Oh, is this facing the wrong way? And then this is going to be a Mark IV. And I don't have enough crap. We'll do a Mark III for now then, I guess. Invalid shape. What's going on? It's a straight line. Oh, is this the wrong way? That's the wrong way. Uh, Obu, resubscribing at tier one. 33 months. Lucky 33. I don't mean to interrupt, but surprised. Dino Jan Dance, Joel Hype. <laughs> Thanks very much. I really appreciate the sub, Obu. Uh, subs are 25% off, by the way, folks, until the end of the month. 
And uh, in 40 minutes at 2 o'clock my time, that is 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, uh, there will be bonus subs on Twitch. So gift subs as of 2 p.m. today for me, so in 40 minutes from now. Uh, for every five gift subs, Twitch will add one bonus gift sub. So if you're gifting five subs to the channel, then someone else will also get a gift sub uh, right on top of that, which is a great way to grow the community. But but again, I, I wish that Twitch would consider time zones and that fact that people in Europe and East Coast stream a lot earlier than Pacific time. Um, but uh, that's the time that they chose, 10 a.m. Pacific. So 10 a.m. Pacific is 2 p.m. for me. Yeah, I had the splitter face the wrong way. Amateur. Amateur stuff. Those are both fine. That's fine. That's fine. So that's all that. These are going to be making reanimated Sam. And they're going to be outputting into a bin that I'm going to try to hook up to storage. So we're going to merge everything probably down to here. Output is only 30, so regular Mark 1 is fine. Thirty, thirty is sixty, and then this is gonna have to be a mark two. Going into, I'll do a large storage bin for now in case I can't get this sorted out correctly. A mark two blast jordan subscribing at tier one three months in advance that's amazing thanks so much 16 months total currently on a 16 month streak uh a stack of ender pearls nice yeah uh that, that's a stack of the um uh mercer sphere they do look like ender pearls you're very that's funny i wonder if that was an inspiration for them that'd be a really interesting question for the coffee stain dogs uh, we will also have to, of course, power everything, probably from over here. one you can do that one and then you can also do downstairs Don't remember how far these go. Guess it doesn't really matter. I might be able to go all the way.
course, the power's on the other side. Don't have... I don't think I have the ability to go through the walls yet. Oh, I do. Alright, well, for this one, we'll just do two of these. And then we have to get this sorted. Don't need that anymore. Don't think I need those anymore. I think I can probably move the ladder to here. Oh, that's weird. I'm so glad I got the ladders. It's going to make getting some of those um, hard drives and stuff later on a lot easier. Oh, that was close. A lot of ups and downs, but I think we've, we've got there in the end. The area is really pretty, Jody, I agree. Also, hi, how are you? Jay Christ, good to see you. Uh, the week has indeed been great. I, uh, I'm a little zonked. I had a, had a big back workout yesterday, which is great. Like, I, I mean, I like a good workout, but I'm, I can feel the fatigue today, so I'm taking it easy. I'm gonna play some video games here on stream and well, some. The video game. Satisfactory. <laughs> uh, we're playing this, and then uh, I think I'm going to do some... Um, do some um, barbecue later. If the weather holds up. It looks like it might rain. I am looking for power now. I do find it strange that I can't go from here and... Like switch to a power tower like I kind of want to go to large tower but it doesn't let me connect the wires which I find weird so I guess we'll put another one of these on here maybe maybe just to keep this tidy we'll put it back here And I guess for that, instead, we'll go to this one. Don't need this. And I should be able to connect this to something right next to the base, which should be fun. Um, so that'll get that up and running. And then the last thing, which I don't think I can do yet, is I need to make a... Dimensional Depot. Yeah, so I can't quite do that yet. 
So let's get this thing up and running. And this actually did not take very long at all. I'm surprised. So we'll run this over this way. And I guess where's a good spot? Probably in line with what we've got down there. This can all be moved. I do find the weird way that they connect to the bottom a little strange. These make such a huge difference, my goodness. Such a huge difference. Word Nerdify, hello, hello. And that's got everything sorted. We should start to see. Stuff coming up. There we go. Sam is coming through. How is my Sam color, by the way, now that we've got this in broad daylight? Let's um, edit the swatch. Load up the Sam. Uh, I, that's not bad. I did a pretty good guess there, I think. a pretty good pretty good guess I'm gonna put one of these down just so I can kind of look at it without it moving that's pretty close I can go a little bit darker maybe Names are already in use. Saving will overwrite the color preset that's currently used in the stain. Yes, you continue. Yes. Select the color. I don't know that that got much darker. that do for our power can I connect this oh good I can see Ooh, okay we're getting getting up there now the extra miners I think are really pushing it so these what I want to do with this I should be able to just use a crafting bench which should be on the tractor Streams at an hour. Thank you very much, Cosmic. Appreciate it. I want to get this up and going just before I go on break so we can start to build some stuff up. This was more painless than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a real, real rough go. So these will store it here. However... Oh, I need the crafting bench. All right, whatever. I'll just build one here. I need to go get the, the tractor anyway. But I need to make these. And these are more complicated. I, I need they need pipes so we can do these back in the factory. But what I wanted to do was get those up into the dimensional storage so that I can have access to them a little bit more steadily. So now I should be able to add a dimensional depot on top here. And what's our output? Our output is 
90. Do I need a 2? Mark 2. Conveyor lift. And we should start to see reanimated Sam appear here. There we go. So we'll have at least 100 on on demand, which is great. And this is all set up. I may paint this for fun. time I go down there I'll paint the rest cool you know what cosmic I might wait until the sun goes down plus it might line me up better with being on the hour cool let's grab a handful of these beautiful the rest will go up into storage this little depot. We're starting to expand in these little on-site collections. It's kind of like a stepping stone before we bring it all back to base with trains and stuff like that. And now we can hopefully... What do we need? I need, this is the first thing. I need 29 SAM fluctuators, 17 computers. Do I have the 17 computers? That's another thing. I've got 10. Nuts. Can I make computers? No, they're a manufacturer owner only thing. It looks like cannot handcraft computers. I think it's the four components that you just can't. Okay, so we're stuck on, I can't do the dimensional depot in my inventory. I can, however, increase the upload speed or increase the stack size. I think stack size right now is probably better than upload speed. Upload speed is not important for me. It's um, also, Oh, we don't have computers for those either. Man, I really wish I could find my more computers. So, 47. I can only make 29. All right, we'll wait for the rest of those to save up. I'll do that after I get back. Um, I don't have... Bots for oh I do it's over here I keep on going over there to craft stuff and I've got a crafting bench right here that That's all. Oh, I wanted to unlock those, didn't I? Megafauna was... Oh, I need five. Okay. Shouldn't turn those into tickets. I should use it to unlock the rebar gun. And what was the... Do I have the zipline thing? do. Ah, it's over here. Nice. So for people that don't know, you can use this to travel along lines, and you can use them to travel on those lines. And... 
Usually, what I might want to do is use that into one with a platform. And that gives you a ladder. So you can climb up to the platform. And then you can jump on this and travel that way. It's got some cool animation to it now, too. So I don't have to bring the tractor back and forth. It's not as fast, but it's kind of easy in that regard. Uh, what are we making over here? Currently, no more of those. You're out of pipes. Getting really low on pipes. I'm going to have to switch the uh, constructor. Over here, we've got one temporarily making beams. I'm going to switch to make pipes. Oh, I can't because it's on a... Hmm. Right. Okay. I'll have to do that later. How are we doing for tickets after all that Caterium? Just three. Not as helpful as I was hoping. Um, one thing we can do, though... We can take one stack at a time out of there. I'm just curious. Let's just put a hundred of these in there. This is the other reason I wanted to get the um, wanted to get this going because the Sam I think is a really big earner, a lot faster. Something we could have done is put it directly into an awesome sink. That would have been cool too. Now that Sandy's here, I'm going to leave you to your very in your her very capable hands. <laughs> Thanks very much, Cosmic. I will take my silly comments on pink stuff with me too. Oh, sorry, did I miss the pink jokes? Sorry. I've been very focused. It is a long way down. And hi, Sandy. Good to see you. I think we can probably clear this. Oh. Uh, clear. It, it's weird that it uses materials. I find that kind of strange. But I guess it means that you can you can't build stuff that you don't have access to. So that's, I guess, fine. We got one more ticket out of that. It is a little slow. I'd be more interested in the stack size increase than anything else. That's where all our pipes are going to go, too. So it's not a pipe bottleneck so much as it is Sam. I can sacrifice. We're just a little bit slow on tickets for my liking.
Personal upload from inventory is super nice. Yeah, when I get there, it will be. So I think what I'll do is I'll just give a little um, overview of what we're going to do here. I want to change this into another dimensional depot situation. So do I have enough to build one of those now? What do I want over here? Power tower, I don't need that. I do want another dimensional depot though. I can build another one of those, so that's good. So over there, I'm going to change this into something that looks a little bit nicer. Um, kind of compact it and instead of being sent into a regular container, it's just going to go straight into a dimensional depot. I'm going to try to encase it in something. I think what I want to do is like around these, around the miners, what I want to do is create like some sort of like resource spike as if something has been put into the ground and it's like shooting the resources out or something like that. I think we could do that on a couple of these. Uh, and so that will have our concrete just constantly going because this is just a impure node. There's nothing special about it. And that will take care of the concrete. What I'm planning on doing is taking the copper and making a copper facility up here. And we're going to take these two impure iron nodes and we're going to make wire because we've got the alternate wire recipe. So these will actually be part of the copper. Uh, we've got these three nodes here that are normal doing 900 iron ingots. And you can see a lot of that kind of getting shot out here and shot out the other side here. Uh, so what's not going to be here is all of this. Uh, we need to move that. And we are going to put that... I think I'm going to build a factory in this space here. And I'm just... I'm not sure... I think if I go above this rock, then instead of just having like this narrow area here, we could have this giant square. Basically kind of like from around here, we could have this big facility all the way around um, and the tractor will have to get moved but honestly this is going to be big enough that we can just belt the coal into it and so what I'm thinking is we'll have this big facility the iron will start here and the steel will be down there because that's where the coal is and then we can combine the two and do the things that we need to do uh, the only thing that will this will not have off the get-go is concrete so I need to find there's a a normal concrete node, if not a pure node. I think there's another one. There's a concrete node right there, actually. These ones might be good to go. So we'll see what those are. Oh, they're both normal. Well, that's normal and that's impure. So the normal node is going to be the first one we tap. Perfect. Uh, and then we have copper down here also for that, but these those are impure. So there'll be a little bit of resource juggling. Uh, however, right now I'm going to take my break because it is dark and we're a little overdue, but it does get us on track for being in with the night on Satisfactory. So give me five to seven minutes, folks. I'm just going to reheat my coffee. And we'll, when we come back, we'll work on the next step. I should probably also pull this out. So we get more over the break. Cool. Be right back.
And we're back. Still a little dark. That's okay. So I need to get some more um, steel pipes on the go. That's the thing that I need to do. Also, I should probably put some labels on these. Pipes are going to be the bottleneck, I think, for us. Could probably handcraft some pipes. You guys backed up? No. You guys backed up. No. Okay. So, I need to create a temporary steel facility that's not crammed in here, is the first thing. That's the first thing. Difficult, but not impossible. You're just making a cable. And you're doing the dimensional stuff. doing for versatile framework actually we might actually be done 1200 in there 150 times 8 right 1200 and then 1 2 3 that's 1500 still another thousand to go so that should really stay where it is it's this that needs to shift maybe I can get rid of these temporarily and get into another foundry. Probably what I need to do. I saw Total Eclipse do this, by the way. Use this area on the foundry to pull in your resources. It's a great way uh, to get things going. Um, solid steel ingot. And then we just need to do another splitter. Uh, this is now bringing in 40 times 3, 120. So that should now be making some steel. And we just have to add another merger. It's pumping out 60 times 3. And that is going to have to go into some constructor. So we're going to move, I think, this and have the constructors go the other direction. So we'll have this output line wrap around and I'll have the constructors point this way. 
that should solve the problem of our inventory <laughs> not having what we need. So we'll do structure here. Might as well line that. Oh, that's not going to fit. That's annoying. I guess we move this stuff. I guess I should have just used a bigger bin, shouldn't I? That was dumb. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Boo likes the mention of bacon. Yeah, I like bacon too. Although I, I bought, I got some bacon on sale this week, and uh, it's not the best. I'm disappointed. I wish it was better bacon. Uh, how far apart do I need to put this? I feel like that's pretty good. That's a merger. I want a splitter. This is the is that 120. This is going to be. Oh, you're not getting any coal. What's happening there? It's not hook up. That's weird. Oh, that that curved around. Interesting. I guess you have to be careful with that with your straight belt mode. So 180 is what we've got coming out of there. So this is going to do pipes. I guess I could do an iron pipe too. 30. And then this is going to do beams. And this is going to do beams. The beams we will merge. Pipes, I just need to send probably over there. Maybe we make in 20. Oh. Nice. 
Thanks. So now we've got pipes being stored, we've got beams being made, and now we just have to resume our versatile framework production. And that, I think we can do... Um, this way. That will get beams, and then we'll just take this and move this around. That's doing two, but then we had another one coming in from that way. So this should actually be another merger here. Not my favorite way to do it, but... Oh, nope, that's not right. Generally, I don't like doing this kind of stuff because it's really hard to see if you've made a mistake somewhere. All kinds of janky. are doing a uh, versatile framework. Why are these so slow? 15, 15, 30. Because we're not getting, we're only doing that kind of capacity. So this should be opposite I should change oh that's a problem why don't we make the full the full load that'll speed things up a little bit there we go now we are probably pushing the limits on our power we are getting very close to max consumption um, however we are still where are we here 693. We're a hundred below. That's not a lot of room. We're gonna have to upgrade that soon. However, I now have a lot of these coming in, which is great. And I needed 100 of those. 47 for stack size. So 100 for stack size. I can't do the computers. So it's 100 for stack size. Yeah, if I get 94, then we're laughing. Yeah, the, the, the short belts makes it hard to find problems. I don't do it if I can at all avoid it. I honestly, I prefer to have floor holes and lifts at my machines. I feel like it, I'd rather have a logistics floor than, than have everything out belted in front of the machines. Uh, we ran out of pipes, surprise.
still not quite there for one of them. We can do for both of them. We can do one though. I guess we go with I think stack size right now is more important than upload speed. I need more Mercer Sears now. Dimensional expansion increased to 200%. Refining manipulation of SAM allows us to now deconstruct non-living matter down to its atomic components in one dimension and store it in basic bound states in another. We do not resonate with the tribute song. Do not worship at the window. Desecrate our temple gifts. This shallow serenade is sour and salt. Weird. My intention was not to encroach, if that is what upsets you, nor was it to dispose of material I do not waste. So now they're talking to one another. Like, I feel like Ada can now hear that weird voice that we're hearing. At first it was like, are you, Ada was like, are you sure you're hearing something? And now it's like, I hear it too. Interesting. Okay, so we can... I've got some steel in my inventory. I can probably just make some pipes as well. So we've got another 35 of those. And now I can pull down that's still pretty slow, but we can at least toss those in here. Why not? Just the one. All right, so at least for infrastructure, I've got what I wanted to do sorted. Um, I still need more Mercer Spheres. I need two, three is five, at least five Mercer Spheres. Got the Sam. Sam is, Sam is happening. Got more power slugs. And I don't think I can make the dimensional depot. No, I need 10 Sam fluctuators. I do have that. We can do that. And what was the other thing? Oh, I can turn these into power shards. You still think Ada is schizophrenic? Yeah, I think um, I think it's like a. It reminds me of Ultron. Like it reminds me of an AI coming online to be self-aware. So we've got 36 power shards, that's good. I do not want to have all of those on me at once. So let's stick some of them here. However, we do have one of these. Right, I can't do that yet. Don't need that. I'm going to deconstruct the other one. Now I don't have 
any of the decoration bits. Six tickets. It would be nice to have those walls. It'd be nice to have one of those finishes too. Oh, the roofs are six. Jeez. Do I have access to glass stuff yet? I thought there were glass roofs. Hmm. Are the glass roofs separate? I think the angled foundations are going to be key as well. I could purchase computers with tickets maybe no we have to unlock them in the manufacturer first okay. take care Jody thanks so much for being here I really appreciate it six tickets not enough tickets friends Mm -mm. Well, I think we're going to need those quickly. And so that's three. And then probably. Those are five. I wouldn't mind having the gates. Three and two is five. That's three. Add these to the cart. So, end of the cart. Walls is. That's three and three. That's two right there. Architecture. Three tickets. don't care about the door so much I'd much rather have some of these triangles maybe we do the two walls for now yeah let's do that and that and I'll ditch that I just need my tickets that'll help us at least with some shapes So now, under walls, we've got all these, and I don't think I have any other wall type. But this will help with what I want to do over at uh, this other, other spot. I'm going to try something a little bit different here. Now, this miner happens to be really well positioned on the world grid. Like, it's really not that far off. So, I might do a little trick here just to kind of get it centered. So, I was thinking what it would be cool 
is if I was able to just just delete this whole thing right now. This is probably full. Yeah, real close. So this is something you'll see from um, someone like Total Clips. If you've got any of these uh, barriers, then you can usually snap them to the front of the miner. Although it's not doing it with this one. Maybe the new ones don't work the same way. Right, so that's snapping to the foundation, right? Not the miner. There was a spot where you used to be able to... I mean, that's still not quite the middle. I thought that you could snap it to the miner. But maybe it's the other barrier? Maybe I need to get rid of that. I guess it's the road barrier is the only thing it works on. Um... That's unfortunate. I thought I was going to be able to center that. They triple the uh, the output. Um, 60 resources per minute. This is impure, so that's only 30. What's our upload speed is only 30, right? can't remember what our upload speed is. Does anybody remember? Is it 15? We've increased the stack size, but nothing else. So I think a Mark 1 miner is all we really need. And do I want it to point in this direction? So it's not jutting out into the area here? That's probably what I want to do. So many menus. Um, maybe the wall will snap? Nope. I guess I need the other barrier. First speed is 15, then 30. Okay, cool. Well, that's annoying. I really wanted to just do something centered on this miner. There's nothing else here that snaps. I guess I could eyeball it. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. It's the wrong height. So I'll delete this. Put the miner back. Delete the foundations again. Grab the barrier. I'm glad that it worked. Although now I can't seem to get it to... Oh, you have to hold control. That's why it wasn't snapping. Hold control. And then now I should be able to snap this to the barrier. And then get this centered. And then we can center a 
that's just far enough. So that should encase the back of it. Nothing is going to stick out. So everything is centered on one. Now we can do whatever we want with the front of it. The front of it's going to have some outputs. So what I'm thinking now, of course, is like we can do some cool stuff here, like using our new walls. Uh, I could use like a steep ramp wall. If I wanted to do something like that. Right, like if we wanted to encase the whole thing, some sort of design. stick out a little bit. I just think it would be neat to have these little like resource spikes around each of these and eventually what I could do when I did find a design I like is we could um, we could blueprint it and so that it would be pretty easy once you have it down here you could just basically um, blueprint, it, blueprint it and have it do its thing. So we can take this Get rid of this. Add another one of these. So this has to be constructor and depot. So it's real simple. Last Jordan, thanks so much for being here. Have a fantastic evening. Try to make this as co compact as I can. So that unfortunately has a part showing, but we we can we can manipulate that a little bit. So this is going to be doing 30 per minute. So that's just a regular belt. This is going to do concrete. And we can do that thing where we wrap it around. So if I grab this, I can put this just a couple of blocks higher. Figure out where a good spot would be for Dimensional Depot. Probably one higher than that. I don't know whether it's going to let me build a depot at this height or not. It might not. And I need the Mercer Sphere, which means I have to go take that other depot down. That'll do that. I think, I mean, obviously it needs some work. A little basic right now, but I like the idea. Now, if I was going to put this somewhere I could see it. So that is going to let me do that there. Would it let me do it one lower? Probably not. My guess is probably no. Then we just line this up. That.
concrete goes directly in there. I guess we could do a floor hole if we really wanted to. Why not? That. So then this is going to be doing concrete. Do I have a limestone color? I don't know if I do. Don't know if I have one custom. Oh. I'm your overall sulfur. I thought I had a limestone. Did I not color any limestone on the map? I don't think I have. No. I think it's Caterium that I'm thinking of. Okay. Well, let's do whatever concrete looks like as a color. Like a brown. close maybe a little bit lighter I mean the sun's on the wrong side here whoops this is the kind of stuff I'd like that's a pretty good guess I think that's all right so we'll just save that as concrete or limestone Go concrete. And we'll go default. And then I don't know about the other part of the swatch. I don't know whether we should have like a foundation primary. What's the default um, color up here? Foundation concrete structure and so I guess we'll try the, the light gray one not that it matters I'm just oh that's a different color than I thought it was going to be oh I remember this now this is a bug from before it selects the one next to it yeah so I selected the concrete primary but it selects the foundation primary I remember that now. Not that it matters. I'm just being picky about stuff. Uh, and then we can get rid of this. We can remove that, remove this, remove that, remove that. Get that back, get that back. That we'll have to take down and get rid of. And then we just have to create some sort of build around this. Now, obviously, um, that shape was good for the miner, but we have much more going on here. And we might be able to do that. Extend this. I can put a detail over that. I'm not worried about that. Um, I think we can get rid of this. And then have um, that either be open. So maybe maybe that was better off not being a four hole. Because now at least we can see maybe from the outside what it's doing. We can do the same thing over here. I might want to go a little bit higher than that. 
I don't know if I want to see the dimensional storage or if we want to cover that up. Hmm. It could be kind of cool to expose that. So, like, we could have walls going along here. And then we have a roof part there. We don't have all the pieces we need to finish it, but you can sort of see what I'm getting at. And then we just have to figure out where this is. We could probably put this in the back. Line this up here. Put a little connector there and really power this cleanly now. I can't remember whether that does both of those or not, so we'll just do this a little bit higher. And that should power that on. And then when we get more decoration parts, we can come back and finish it up. But now that's just going to be putting concrete directly into storage for us constantly. It's a really good use of an impure node. Oh, do I need to underclock anything? This needs 45 per minute. And this is not going to be doing that. This is going to be 30. So that's fine. So it's going to be really slow. But it's that constant drip that is only taking 5 megawatts. So I think it's going to be really good for us in the long run. Yeah, so when I get more roof parts and stuff, we can come back and finish this. Maybe add some details. I have a little bit of architecture stuff that I could play with. But not much. But like we can do something like this here cover up that kind of thing we can just put like a beam or something over it run a beam horizontally maybe we can figure that out when the time comes we could put like a grate on the bottom when we get there right there's a bunch of different stuff we can do but for now I think we'll just Maybe I'll do a little bit more on the side here. And maybe we could have like different colors. So I could even do like the concrete stripe or something. That could be kind of fun. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Yeah, I like that much better than this. And now this, we've got to move. And then it'll be out of the way for good, which is great. I definitely feel like we get more hang time. Like we're very floaty in these jumps. That was not as smooth as I thought it was going to be. How is it nighttime already? That's crazy. Or almost nighttime.
Every sub-level has a sub-level. You will soon learn if you're new to Satisfactory. There's always... You can't dig down into the world, but um, there's definitely um, spots where you um, you think you, you need the sub-level, but then you need to put something other like below it if you have the space. I've done it a number of times. I don't know why. How are we doing for those? We run out of stuff. We ran out of stuff. Let's do. Do I need more of those? I probably do. We should have enough pipes now to load that up for a little bit. Beautiful. Just thinking about the things I want to have happen before my next break. So that should be good to receive. Excellent. You are not making Sam. I need you to do other thing. All oh, right, we need some pipes to do some automated Sam. Let's do that here. Because I don't have enough machines in the way. Oh no, it's a manufacturer. Never mind, we can't automate those yet. Right. I forgot. Well, let's put them in for tickets then. We're getting a fair amount, so we should be good. Anything else that can go? Um, as you said, almost night, but you don't have any power to the concrete constructor. Oh, did I forget to hook that up? Thank you. Appreciate that. Good call. Got to do the inside guts. Uh, it is there. Thank you. Appreciate that, Sandy. So now that means I can really take down... Uh, I'm going to have this one go to a bin locally. Like I, I think that's fine, because it'll just shut down when it's full up. So right here, this bin is almost full. Or it is full. So it's just... This is now just going to idle. This will fill up with... Actually, you know what? I can just stop it. So then this will fill up and then shut down. So then we're not wasting any energy or any time there. That part's good. Uh, so now, check to see our versatile framework, which we forgot to hook up. That was dumb. That's been stuck for a while, unfortunately. Probably for a good hour. Nuts. You always forget something. Always something. I guess the good news is that these will be backed up, though. We do need several of those. One good thing that happens when your machines back up in the early game is that you've got stacks of stuff that you can just grab. That part is at least nice. I'm not siphoning off those anymore, am I? Should be. 
merger. There's no splitter. Just not. Oh, it's really, really snug. Pipes. That's pipes. I'm gonna change this. This is gonna be beams. That's going to split off some of those for a little while, build those back up, and this should be good for a little bit. Sweet. Night time is upon us. Once again, time to take a little break so that y'all can see what I'm doing. Because uh, I do find the, the headlamp, it's okay, but it's, it's very glary. It's kind of hard on the eyes for both myself and I think on stream too. It's not the best for compression on the VOD later. So. Uh, I'm going to step away, uh, grab another drink, and uh, you should too. Grab a stretch, grab a friend. I will be back in five or seven minutes.
All right, <clears throat> let's see what we can get up to in the next hour or 50 minutes until the second sun comes back up. I think I've got everything going that we need to get going. So really, I think the next thing is focusing on the tickets and maybe actually expanding our power. That's the other, other issue. where we're at. Another three. Uh, do I want to try to do the upload thing? I'm going to mean handcrafting like... Oh no, I don't have the Mercer Spheres. Never mind. don't have the Mercer Spheres. Question about blueprints you put up. Where do they go in the files? Uh, they should go in the save game directory. And unfortunately, it depends on whether you've got Steam or Epic as to where that goes. Also, what version of Windows you're going on. So uh, the best thing to do, Dan, would be to um, look up on your version of Windows on Epic Games where the save game files go. Um, it took me a while to find it. Let me see if I can figure out I'm on Windows 10. Um, this is in App Data Local Factory Game Saved Save Games. And then you should see a folder within that that says Blueprints. And then inside of that, there should be a folder for each of your save. Uh, it's not a save game. It's called a save session. So there's like, um, speaking of saving the game. So there's, these are your sessions on the left, uh, and these are the save files on the right. So like, even though the Great North, that's technically my Devastator save. So that's where it is. So again, that's uh, your user. So like your Joel Duggan for me and be Dan for you. App data, local, factory game, saved, save games. And then the blueprints should be in there. So I need to do a blueprint first to get the folder. Uh, ye, mm, you might want to do that just to make sure they work. I don't know. I've never actually downloaded anybody else's blueprints. I've just always made my own. All right, so we need to get back into doing some motors, I guess. Ancients raining with the party of two. Thanks ever so much. I really appreciate it. That got us maybe one more ticket. That's not the best. That's so like one ticket for every like 200 Sam. That's not great. I wonder if the fluctuators are more. Five Mercer Spheres, Mega Bits, Mega Fauna Bits. We may want to go expand the power. The Mercer Sphere right here. Witness of Sarkin Servants Echo in the Deep. Do they not block the shallow threads? Can you hear me? Crescendo, the effigy found the key. Sing more. I was not created for artistic purposes. I am incapable of singing. You sing. Noted. Hmm. Interesting. I was sort of listening, but I saw the doggo and I wanted to see if I can get him. I heard that the doggos despawn if you don't put them on foundations. And that's why the other ones disappeared. I don't know where he went. Maybe he despawned. Yeah, 
Get you? No, you ran away. Oh, got me that time. I think that was death. Yes. Hello. More bits. It looks like Summer Sloop up there? Or did we already get that one? We already got that one. I haven't really looked for any hard drives today either. Have I marked these on the map? Yes, I've done the I've gone done the iron. I don't think there's any more over here. Probably closer to the edge would be my guess. Oh crap, I didn't mean to take the concrete. <laughs> Whoops. Misclicked. Good to see you, big head face. Welcome in. We could at least make the alien protein though. Could make a couple of crystal oscillators and see what that gets us for tickets. That could be good too. Fifty-three and two Mercer Spheres. Are you still doing quartz? No. that I wanted to try. I guess we'll do the um, Megafauna. It's the um, rebar gun. Yeah. Research to develop the rebar gun is now available. When completed, you will be in possession of a tool effective against any local obstacles actively objecting to the fix-it mission. Hmm. Uh, missing materials. I don't have enough screws. I wish it would remember your place. Rebar gun and iron rebar ammo unlocked. Your ingenuity towards preservation of fixit property has been noted. You earned a micro break. And welcome back. I hope you feel refreshed. 
<laughs> That's great. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> you've earned a micro break. Welcome back. <laughs> Cheers to micro breaks. Uh, I think I turned all my alien protein into capsules. Yeah, I should not have turned it all into capsules. I guess I should have kept some of it as protein. Do I need those? Or... Right. And I can't craft them back into protein, I don't think. No. That's too bad. I could have used those six inventory slots, really. So we still need to kill at least three more beasties. No, I'm sure there will be stuff around. And I need at least another Mercer Sphere. So we should be pretty close to being able to do some of these milestones. I know I've got the thousand cable. We can probably drop that in there. Did I put that anywhere? I thought I may have loaded this up. No. Okay. We don't quite have the plastic. So we may have to go get some of that. This is obviously full. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, 200 of those, we might have that. We do, uh, motors, we do not have 200 motors. That's stators. I think I've got enough stators and rotors now. Oh, maybe I don't. We only have whatever I put in there. It's a Mercer Sphere that way. Oh, there's one on the hill, I think. Well, at least it's the same ratio. So we'll get another 50 motors out of that. Right up there. And this is what I'm talking about with the um, zip line thing. It'd be a lot faster to do stuff like this. Sometimes. Surface is too uneven. They made that uneven on purpose. Too long. Up we go.
That was a cool experience. See it? I would like to dismantle it, please and thank you. Go. I don't think there's anything else up here. Just some nodes. We've already got a lot of the a lot of the slugs and stuff like that up here. Oh, there's one. This actually looks like it might be pretty easy to get. Once you're up high, you can usually spot stuff pretty easily. That one there? Did we just drive by that? We totally drove by that before. There's two right here. I remember running over him. And we found some stuff to collect. You can run. I know it feels a little bit bad with the um, retaliate mode on. They're supposed to get mad at me, but they don't seem to have the time. Oh. Your waves laugh at our shores. When will you land? That's four. I think I've got a fifth one back at the factory. It's going to be a glitch they should attack. I think I'm just killing them faster than they actually compute. I think that's what's happening. Let's take the long way just in case there's one that I missed over this way, but I don't think there is. I definitely remember seeing a few of them and then thinking like, I'm not on that mission right now, like I'm on a hard drive mission and just kind of like passing them by. Oh, oh, there's one right there. That looks like there might be something on top of it. Maybe not a Mercer Sphere, but it certainly feels like it could be something. Maybe I already got it. Slug! I knew it would be something. Where are the quartz nodes out this way? They're buried deep in here somewhere. Oh, way over there. Huh. Did we already get the thing up here?
Nope, not gonna make it. So do we want the personal upload or do we want the faster upload speed? Probably the faster upload speed, right? Oop, missed that jump. Got seven of those and 53 of these and no room in my inventory. Personal upload, but you need computers for it, right? Yeah, we don't need computers for the other ones. We just need a ton of Mercer spheres. I think I'm okay with the upload speed because it means that our Sam, our reanimated Sam, is going to come up faster. I wish I had computers for the power because that would really help us right now. 30 per minute. What's the max? Oh, dimensional upload percentage. speed increased. Part of the kinetic and thermal energy released during matter conversion has now been repurposed to aid with dimensional shifting, allowing for more parts to be transferred in a short time frame. Loop the veins, ease the flow, make a curve out of a line. Your shallow minds create shallow solutions, pretty ripples. Shallow mind? Pretty ripples? I certainly hope that wasn't meant to include me. Weird. They're talking to one another now. So I'm curious. Uh, I'm going to actually stop this belt right now. So we are at 27046. I'm going to put one of these in. I don't have room to split it. Hold on. Let's just put some stuff in here. Right, I took all that by accident. So I'm going to grab one of those and one of these. So 2700 for the sake of argument. I'll put in one here. And that went to 26, 886, so like 200 points. And then this, 26, 886. Wow, those are better for sure. Yeah, okay. So what I should do, can't, I have to handcraft those right now. Big jump. Yeah, it was a big jump. <clears throat> so unfortunately, until we have manufacturers, I have to handcraft these. So I think the thing to do is um, we've got our inventory materials sorted. It's a little helter-skelter. It's a little all over the place, but we really need to get to industrial manufacturing. And so that's just going to be a simple trip out to the um, uh, the oil field. Well, those are cool looking. I really like those. Yeah, that got us three tickets right there. Now we're back up to six. And I also had this 
I just need the cable. Six more inventory slots. 100% need that ASAP. I'm glad I hooked up that cable automation. That is that done. Pocket dimension significantly expanded. I worked all afternoon analyzing the transdimensional confibulatory permutations of alien DNA to achieve this. <laughs> we are all doing our part for fix it. I worked all afternoon. <laughs> uh, we need one more capsule to do the hand slot. I do not have that, so we can put those away. I'm tempted to put those in here for the tickets. How much does one give us? We are at 2,000 points. I think it's only 1,000 points. Yeah, so it's a thousand points. That went up there. Okay. Fine. So I could get two more tickets if I wanted to, or we could save that towards this i don't think the hand slot is really killing me right now it's more the the tickets so let's just dump these guys in i think these don't go up exponentially they just stay the same oh maybe it wasn't a thousand. Oh, what happened here oh the alien dna did not go in there interesting huh I thought you could put that in there. Maybe you can't. So they do go up a little bit. All right. I thought we we're going to get two tickets at it. I need to make some more um, filters. What do those cost? Gas mask filters. Fabric, bowl, and plates. So I have Mercer Spheres. Is there anything else in here that I should be unlocking? And equipment slot. I don't care about that. That's plastic. Triple fuel. This is all beyond us right now. Quartz. Also beyond us. Nutrients. I feel like I could just throw those in. I'm not sure what I would get, but we'll see. And we need to figure out if we're close to those motors. It's just the plastic that's the bottleneck. A 
Reanimated Sam is 160 sync points, and Sam fluctuators is, are 1968 sync points. That's a that's a big difference, Sandy. Thank you. Just the inhaler. Research shows potential for processing planetary nutrients for pioneer benefit. Nutritional inhaler research available. Well, I've got the mushrooms for that, so we might as well do that too. Get the check mark. Oh, I'm missing nuts. Oh, I ate all the nuts. Oh no. Alright, well. We know that's possible for next time. Mycelia. Polymer. Hand equipment slot. Not so worried about that right now. These require the things that need the plastic. This we're stuck on, and this we're good. Okay. So I don't need to be carrying around. Um, now it's just the motors and the plastic. We've got 144 out of the 200, so I need to try to get some more motors going on here. Unfortunately, I think what's happening here is our um, stators are low, because I'm not making stators anywhere, because I have not set up that production. Steel pipe and wire. So I'll make some stators while we're gone. Do I have more steel pipes? I probably do. I know I've got wire here somewhere. Fifteen and forty. And bring some extra biomass in case the generators need it out at the coal or at the um, oil place. We need 400 plastic. I really should just kind of gear up with as much plastic as we can gather while we're out there. Unfortunately, it's just a bit of a drive. I think we're good. Our quick wire is probably full too. Where is the fastest route? I think it's up this way. Hooking the Sam up to the Dimensional Depot was probably the, the best move we've made. That's helped a lot with the tickets. I was hoping to do more design work today, but as with anything in this stage of the game, that early phase two is just so slow. Also, I'm dealing with a bit of like indecision on like what we should do for the main factory and where to put it and stuff. I need to do some backwards math, counting down from motors and figuring out what we need to do for those. Eventually, we'll get a train line out here. Uh, although I'm debating as to whether I should bother uh, if we start to get to trains, once we get into like putting tracks in the sky and stuff with like rays, like risers and stuff, I feel like we should probably um, 
maybe go to the blue crater. Just for, for, for me, it'd be different. Like, I just have not spent any time playing there, so... There's also a lot of hard drives over that direction, too. At least it's not a hard journey, it's just a lot of driving. You place your train tracks in the ground, you want to swoosh through the tree trunks and the bushes? Yeah, that's cool too. I might do that early on. We should also pop up into the dune desert or the rocky desert and get a um, get a hard drive. All we need to do here is just hook this up. And you are making plastic. Good stuff. Empty. Empty. Uh, I have to remember to pick up more of the nuts. So let's eat those instead. We need them. And hard drives. I don't know if I got the one up there, did I? Does not look like I did. Time to make some makeshift roads. Feels like Transformers 1. I don't, I've never really talked about that much here. Um, I went to go see that uh, on Tuesday night. It was really good. Definitely worth seeing in theaters. Definitely worth seeing in theaters. Uh, does that have... Yeah. Top that up. There is a hard drive on the top of this cliff. That I know of. I'm just trying to think about the most efficient way to get up there. That's actually kind of fun. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. That was more fun than it actually should have been. He was attacking me. We do need more barrel nuts. And I could have sworn it was up there. Ooh, 
You are beefy. It's a purple slug. And I feel like what I want is up there. lot higher than you think. I do find sometimes the perspective in this game is a little bit tricky to wrap your head around. Thankfully, you don't need power for this to actually work. It did not look that high, I agree. There's a hard drive up here. Be disappointed if there's not. Here we go. You are ginormous. We are not going to tangle with you. Oh, looks like we are. Okay. Can't see me. Oh. Lots of goodies up here. Computers. That was 26. We now have 36 computers. The aluminum in this I can just throw in the sink. I'll be happy to do that. Not worried about those at all. Anything else? question is, what does this need? Oh my gosh, I'm glad I had the quartz with me. Do the ma'am. Too many buttons. Research that, and then we'll drop a little pin here. Oh, I did it again. So annoying. Don't press tab. I don't remember how long it was going to take for that buffer to fill up, so I don't want to push my luck too much up here. Oh, I forgot about bauxite. We can grab a little bit of this and take home. You didn't seem to care too much. I'm okay with that.
How many computers do you have? We've got 36, I think, at home. Or 10, at, 10 back at the factory. Maybe we already had bauxite? I don't know. Thought there was another hard drive up here somewhere. That's one over there, I think. Everybody says yes. And that is going back our way, although maybe I should go back down the way we came. Uh, was that for uh, bauxite's for aluminum? I just, I thought it might have given us like a little speech from Ada. Or maybe I've already picked up Bauxite in this playthrough. I might have picked up a little bit somewhere. Oh, more nuts. I can probably just delete this and use my hover pack to, or my jet pack to get down. So it's easier to delete. And the truck is over there, unfortunately. Nice. <laughs> They've improved that part about it. Before you would have crashed. Totally would have been upside down in the, in the previous updates. I think we needed 40 nuts. I imagine either the buffer is full or the power is run out. Well, power doesn't look like it's run out, so it might be the buffer. How we doing? No, nope, surprisingly. I believe that's going to be more than enough plastic. That's good. Let's switch her over to rubber. Now, unfortunately, I think we've got all the nearby stuff. So I'm going to get rid of this. We can craft some of our alien stuff while we wait for a little bit of rubber, though. Uh, let's do that. Unfortunately, the ma'am is busy right now with the hard drive. So I'll unlock the six inventory slots, I think, and then I'll put the rest in the um, the um, awesome sink
Not going to get very much rubber this trip. It's more about the plastic. More about the plastic. Can't see me, I guess. Oh, now we can. For anybody that has trouble with the uh, animals in the game, if you're playing normally, um, this is a um, the the um, noblex are a great way to get rid of them. Oh, Thirty nine. Where's the next? Another nut bush around here somewhere. The things that you don't think you're gonna say when you play video games. And it's nighttime, which means I should take another break. Thank you, Sandy. You're right. It might be a good idea to just kind of hang out here and let the rubber build up. Or do we think we should do plastic as well? Pro tip, tip blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> That's the nuts done. I'll flush the fluid buffer. Check our power. We should be good for power. This was a little smart little idea. I'm glad that we did it. All right, uh, I'm just gonna pop up here and give you guys a little view while I go in another short break. Uh, I know it's not a lot to look at, but uh, it is pretty. Where's a good... Maybe the sun comes up that side? Yeah. We get the view of the... Uh, oops. Cool. Uh, give me five or seven minutes. I'll be right back. Again, Sandy, thanks ever so much for the reminder.
Just in time for the sunrise. Just in time. I apologize if you hear my phone in the background. We have an Amazon delivery coming in the next couple of hours and I don't want to miss it. So uh, they don't always buzz, but uh, if they do, I don't want them to leave it downstairs. So I apologize if there's any notifications that happen in the background. Now we should have at least a little bit of rubber to take back with us. Not a lot, but enough. And just disconnect this. And that should stay until we're ready for next time. And I might... Yeah, let's just drop one one of these off here and that way we'll when we know it's got power since we came out here and now we just take the long road back Anything fun, uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the Amazon order. Um, sort of. Uh, basically, I ordered another Elgato Melty Mount, another Elgato Solid Arm, and a um, another HDMI cable. And so now, depending on which camera bounces back and forth, either the Sony EV uh, ZV E10 or the... Um, the Sony a6100 uh, I no longer have to move anything but the camera I can just leave the stands and the cables the only thing I did not get was an extra power supply for the Sony ZV-E10 uh, because I don't know if this is the camera that I'm going to be moving so if it's just the, the other Sony I have to pick up a different power pack so I'm gonna do a test stream next time um, probably next week with um, my Sony A5100. I think it's a 5100. Uh, where am I going here? And we'll see if that works. Because essentially the shot to set up for spawn chunks is kind of tricky because the iMac is in the way. And the shot to set up for Lego is not all that hard. Plus, I just I don't stream Lego very much. Um, We've been taking a short break while we've been playing Satisfactory, uh, but also I absolutely do spawn chunks once a week, and there's also bonus things that we do with spawn chunks. And if I want to start doing video podcasting for the Citadel Cafe, then that that camera should stay there as well. Um, and then uh, if you want, if you look at like the Lego, like I can really only do Lego when I have a new Lego set, and after I'm done this set right now that I have from, from Grandpa Crafter. I've got a, like a little tiny set that I could do, but I need to figure out which Lego set I'm gonna get, get next, if I'm gonna get one next, or if I'm gonna take a short break from the Lego streams uh, and get back into Satisfactory and and stuff during the week. So I need to figure out what's happening there. So that it's, it's probably better for me logistically here to see if the Sony camera can be done for streaming. And because really I bought the ZV-E10 for uh, for podcasting. That was my main purchase. Um, I do like having it for streaming, and I do like having a camera for streaming now. I feel like it's a little bit more engaging. I've got a lot of compliments on it. Um, some people that have been following me for a very long time without a face cam have commented and said, like, oh, wow, <laughs> hey, we can see you now. So that's kind of fun. Oh, I didn't stop and get Caterium. Let's get Caterium. A long way, yeah, it's a bit of a drive. It's alright, I've got extra time today, so we can stream for a good long bit. Oh, now that is not a jump, that's a bump. Those dunes were fun. <laughs> it was a good time. Pro tip how to stop your tractor, just jump off. Okay, we have to do some finagling here.
This is another thing where the Dimensional Depot would come in handy. I may not be able to get all these back. Most of them, that's fine. When things stack to 500, you can fit an awful lot of stuff. That was accidental, but I'll take the... Oh, I can't take the bits. What do I have to ditch to take the bits? Let's just get rid of the concrete. More points. It's a game of chicken. Who's going to win? Plus whatever is in the back of this. Once we get a full bin here, I can just probably put the rest into awesome sink. I think we're, we quite have the 100 motors. We might have to just make those. Okay, where are we with stators? Stators. Got. Need another 60 motors? And I don't know if I'm going to need the aluminum. We could look at, look ahead to see if we have any any aluminum in the the tier lists, but I think we should be okay. How long ago did I get back from break? Anybody remember? I can't see timestamps in chat. Let's see. So we've got Sam. Oh, four minutes. Thanks, Dan. Really? It feels like... I, I think it's just because the driving is so boring. Speaking of boring, I just really want to get this industrial manufacturing unlocked. Nine minutes ago. Okay. I must. I set a timer for my coffee, and I must have not heard it. I think I've mentioned this before, but I've got a Guatemalan roast from a local coffee roaster. And it is a really good afternoon coffee. So, cheers, pioneers. Ooh, that's hot. We're going to be a little bit short, I think. I think I needed 60 and I could only craft 50. 
Right, we'll dump them all in to free up some inventory space. Sorry for all the hand crafting, but oh, it's only been six minutes, not nine. It means I plunged my coffee too early? Sweet Sandy. What have you done? I have a French press. So I was steeping the coffee for eight minutes. All right. So that is... Oh my gosh, that's... No, uh, it is 200. Sweet. More than enough. And then... Plastic. We need a little bit more. We put the computers back. We've got 36 computers. I think everything in the MAM required 50 or more. Ready for launch. Milestone reached. Manufacturers can receive up to four inputs for the production of complex parts, such as computers and heavy modular frames, but most importantly the two new project parts. The modular engine and adaptive control unit are essential for the development of phase three of project assembly. You so that, are making good progress. The future is starting to look bright. That was an unusually positive message for Meta. Yay, okay. So now we have... Um, that was industrial manufacturing. So tier 6.1. Let's just save that. And where are we? Probably 35 hours and change. 36 hours, roughly. So what is the next thing? Probably... I don't know about those. That's more plastic. Petroleum. Monorail. I say we go for trains. Those are all things we can make. Um, that involves stuff I have to go get. So I am cool with focusing on steel. We'll focus on that one. And now remind me what a adaptive control unit requires. Plastic. Oh my gosh. Yeah, those are those are beefy. We're not doing that anytime soon. This is closer, although we still don't have automated rubber. So really the goal now is automating motors. That's the thing. I've got to work our way up to automating motors. Oh, I forgot to mention at 2 o'clock um, that uh, the Twitch bonus subs have gone live now. So during uh, September for the next few days until October 1st, uh, any five gift subs sent in on the channel, Twitch will send in a bonus gift sub. So somebody else in the chat will also get a gift sub. There's a fair amount of people here too. I really appreciate all the people that have been coming out for the satisfactory streams. I know there's a lot of lurking and that's great because I know that I stream kind of during the workday on in North America. Uh, but uh, thanks very much for watching. I, I, I normally don't pull um, 30 viewers or more on Minecraft stuff. So the fact that I've got Satisfactory viewers um, up over up over uh, my normal threshold is is really good Really really good That's all going in there. Uh, I need to make these guys into animated Sam Also, what was the other thing I needed to look at? I wanted to look at these tiers Okay uh, Computers and heavy modular frames Nothing here is any of the fancy stuff that we just picked up so outside of using crystal oscillators to build signs, 
I don't want to use the crystal oscillators for the awesome sync because we can use them for billboard signs. Pretty sure that's what those cost. We don't have them yet, but I'm going to use them for lights. But we can put that in the awesome sync. Um, there's no bauxite tree that I saw. Um, we can put the aluminum in the awesome sink. Do you have enough computers for the SAM inventory thingy? I don't think so. I think it needed 50. Oh, hard drive is done. Cast screw. Yay, we got the cast screw if we need it. Alternate framework with rubber. Oh, gosh, no. That's not happening. So when if we need screws, I have that now. So that's great. Um, this one could use a rescan, maybe. Used wire, wet concrete I want. That could be handy. Let's rescan this one. Cross your fingers. Ready, ready. Steel screw. Those are apparently really good too. And that's a nice one. All right, cool. I'll keep those. That's cool. Um, alien technology. 17 computers. We do have enough. What does this cost? This was 50. So that was the 50 that I was gunning for. I really want to get the power augmenter. Because uh, we could make the 100 um, SAM fluctuators, no problem. But that's probably the better bet for um, our inventory. And then that's, that's just a huge dump of Mercer spheres. So we have the Mercer spheres. And I have the computers. That's going to help for inventory crunch on exploration, for sure. So I agree. I think we should probably do that. Uh, 29 fluctuators. i got to make those. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of handcrafting in every stage. Bye, computers. It was nice knowing you. Manual depot uploader unlocked. Storage dimension and pocket dimension now connected both ways and stable. Parts can now be uploaded to the storage dimension directly from the inventory. Note, the storage dimension now understands the boundaries of the pocket dimension and recognizes the distinction between matter belonging to the pioneer's inventory and matter belonging to the pioneer. The window within a window within the shallows within the deep, curling around itself separately, echoes strangely. I'm sure strange is the correct term for what this must feel like to you. Hmm. Cool. Uh, so one of the things we can do now is we can drop items here to go to the Dimensional Depot. Uh, and one of the things you can do is things like this and your miners so that you always have them available. You don't run into a place and go, oh, I didn't I didn't bring any miners. You know, uh, you can have extra nublisks. You can have black powder up there. That kind of stuff is really handy. So we will be utilizing that for sure. And now we have, I think one of these was a, one is going to be an equipment slot. I thought there was another one 
that was for deuterium. Was it nutrients? Right, I need the mushrooms. First complete tree. I'd say it's probably one of the first for most people. Nutritional inhaler recipe unlocked. Using this inhaler will restore health and also gives your skin a radiant glow that is connected to well-being and probably not radioactivity. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, also, you get five slots to queue up things you want to upload. Yeah, no, it's totally very, very cool in that way. But see, now if I want the chainsaw, I can just grab it. Right? I can just pull one down. And so you're never without it, which is fantastic. Very, very cool. Uh, same thing with power shards, right? Like I can put my power shards up in, in the dimensional storage now too. So I've got 24 there. Yeah, so I could, I could put these up there. I thought that there was a uh, six inventory slots. Maybe I unlocked it. Not there. Oh, we have almost a hundred oscillators, actually. Not that we have any computers. Power slugs, mycelia, and equipment slot. I could unlock those, but I just, I want to play and build more. I feel like all I've done today is just run around and unlock things, which is not the most progress. I was really hoping to build a factory today. Yeah, that's the big one. Not even halfway on those computers. I guess I already did unlock it. I guess this was the six inventory slots over here somewhere. Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, we can just turn all of these into DNA, get the points for those. And now that we have a manufacturer, we can automate the SAM fluctuator. Which, if I remember, is just cable, um, no, wire, SAM, and um, pipes. Those will go in. Um, I'm curious about the cooling system, so I'll watch that. We've got seven tickets, and we're at 4436. Watch this go crazy. Yep. Almost three tickets on those alone. Aluminum plates, not so much. They're not a big, big item. Um, those in there. And then I guess we just make more of those. So, uh, under my new buildables, you have the manufacturer, and this is a beast. This thing is massive. Four inputs, and we can now do these. So, if I wanted to have those, it's 10 per minute. I feel like we do more of that handcrafting, but let's see. And then wire. Don't remember what those stack to. But it's better than sitting there and looking at the handcrafter thing go on forever. Uh, I can put 
plastic away, I guess. They stack to at least 100? Cool. Don't need the Mercer Sphere. I could use some more Nobelisks, though. And I'll make a couple of those inhalers. Which means I no longer have to carry around that, that, or that. Although, that might be handy to have in the dimensional storage in case we see a doggo. Hey, you're back. They did a really good job on that animation. It's very cool. Uh, do, 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 do. I have those. I think I basically need most of what I'm carrying. So that's good. And... That's good. A little light on fuel. What did you run out of already? Damn. So that's the one thing we might want to feed in. See, now I could actually, I, I could sort of automate this. These are really cool looking too, by the way. I just, I really like the models of some of the stuff that they've done. Still not a fan of like the plates and the rods. I feel like they could have done a cooler bundle for that kind of stuff, but um, this will go for a little while now. We'll just top up that and that. So these are great for tickets, and this is why I'm doing it. See, now we've got 12. I'll wait for this stack to finish. Uh, Q? Yes. What's the speed? 60? So I can put that back. I don't think I need to be carrying around the black powder. Slowly get things more organized. How are we doing for our versatile framework? Uh, that's got to be close, right? That's 1,200. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's... 2,000, so we're, we get another 500 to go. I might need another bin. bottleneck is not the heavy modular frames or the modular frames what is it it's the it's the um steel not doing enough steel i definitely want that to build up few stacks is not enough for what we need to do next
Cool. Plus, we had tickets, I think, in the barrel or in here. Yes. Oh, Sam is in there too. See, I know it would be broken, but I, I kind of want to use the dimensional portal to send things from another to another dimensional portal. It would be like an ender chest in Minecraft. I know it would defeat the purpose of moving things across the map with chain, trains. Like it would completely break a lot of the infrastructure, but it would be cool to somehow do that if it costs something. So we've got 20 tickets, which is fantastic, which means we can unlock a lot of this stuff. So I would like to unlock the tilted walls, but also I could have sworn that we had, um, I thought there was wall textures. Oh, here they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's the roofs. Unlock by researching fix it roofs. So we have to do the roofs before we can do the glass roofs. So foundations, walls, architecture is into roofs, right. Six tickets for roofs. What do I need to really get the structure of Ironhide going? That's what I should focus on. We are definitely going to need tilted foundations. Uh, we are going to need Let's go at least with one customizer. Let's go with the chrome. I know it's expensive. Uh, not worried about coated concrete. Asphalt would be nice, but I don't need it. Need it. Uh, concrete walls, I think, would be cool. How are we doing? Eleven. And we should do the roofs, I guess. Was there anything else in the architecture? Metal pillars. Oh, the metal pillar might be... We might need that to take care of the chrome. Those are so nice, but so expensive. Or... Three left. I might not be able to get that. Yeah, we gotta do roofs. Okay, so we'll take away steel. And I'm gonna have to ditch something else because I want the glass roofs too. Uh, there's no indication. Does anybody know how much these cost? Fix it roofs, awesome shop. Fix it roofs, awesome shop. Basic steel production, hub tier three, we have that. And silica in the man, we've got that too. They're definitely gonna be more than one ticket. So I should reserve something. Let's wait on the chrome finish. All fixed vetted materials are tested for toxins, hallucinogens, and other biologically adverse effects. Pioneers are advised not to immerse themselves in these materials and not to lick, eat, breathe in, or otherwise consume them. <laughs> Don't lick the walls. Good to know. <laughs> Jeez. The writing is pretty good, I have to say. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. Why did these not unlock? Do I have to unlock both roofs? Oh, there we go. It's, they had to refresh. Uh, five tickets out of our six. Tar roof, metal roof, glass roof. Hmm. 
I don't have any glass, actually. I didn't grab the glass walls, either. Glass walls are steel frame windows... I think I'd be better off going for this the windows than I would be for the re for the framed windows. Hey, there's Cosmic Dancer. Don't look the walls. Oops. What do we do here, folks? Do we go for doors? Do we go for glass? And get gate walls and not much else. Something with a funny shape. Yeah, I've got the did I get the angled walls? Oh, I didn't get the angled walls. But there are five. Like, I feel like they just eat up. If I can get two things, like a three and a three or a four and a two or something like that, which kind of gives us more options. Fix the roofs for four. And then something else for two. Gates would be cool, too. I could also buy computers now. 50 computers for six tickets. How many computers do I need to unlock Summer Sloop? I, oh, I could do that. We could do that. What do we think? Please report Cosmic says that I have been playing satisfactory for three hours now with no crashes. That's awesome. Oh good. Oh good, oh good. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, the power the power um push would be very very cool. I agree. Plus it's new and shiny. Uh how are we doing for power? I mean, we're production is way down here. But I really don't want to go looking for computers. It's all of our tickets. All right, we got more tickets coming. We got more tickets coming. Do it. That is a good way to do it. Much better. Oh, that's locked behind 10 of those. I have those. A weird arbitrary lock. Ten is not that many of those. Potential for harnessing alien energy completed. Fixit has identified two development tracks requiring additional research to integrate summer sloops safely and efficiently into Fixit technology. The loop organ contains scripture, contains instruments to compose symphonies of root and rock and recycling. Shrines to evolution and revolution. I see. It seems we truly are building understanding. Are we? I don't understand that at all. Grab one of those. And I guess I could we need a hundred. I have thirty. So another seventy. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna handcraft those. I'll wait for those to build up. Um, so now we have lots of other buildable parts. Under architecture, we've got slanted roofs. We've got new pipes. I didn't get the finish. I don't think. No. And. We also have 
new foundations. The new truck is there. We can get new signs. And everything else is as normal. So, one of the things I was thinking about doing yesterday, uh, because we have roof parts now, is if this is like a path, and if this was like a wall here, And these, like this is like a window, then this could be sort of like a, a structure part or a strut. I guess we may want to have the windows be on the stairs and then have this be the structural part. But this doesn't have to be super thick. We could have, um, I need foundation. Right? And then we could have uh, our roof. And that can be different colors and stuff, obviously. So that ends up being the middle. So this could actually be more roof going down the other way. So you can start to see like the shape of what the building might start to look like. And that can be changed into a, a glass ceiling for light. Uh, and then this could be a window or it could be a wall. And then for depth, what we could do is use some of the new pillars. Right, so that could either be there. So it doesn't have to be out this far. Like we could have this kind of go down. And then if I wanted to have it connect to the roof so like we could maybe even have that go up that high we could have this go out farther I think I'd have to do some quick finagling here Put this like there. So on the inside, like you wouldn't see this little triangle because it would be covered up, right? Um, but we could have some different depth. It could look different inside than it looks outside. You could even just have this be like a feature you can just kind of like cut it out and have it be like just like some texture inside right have it look structural and then from the outside it would have this cool kind of steel beam look to it and we can do that on either side here and then have like a window in the middle so we've got some room to play with some of the designs uh, and again this is going to be modeled after um ironhide the transformer We'll get there. We ran out of wire. What are we doing? 65.
Well, that was all my wire, I think. It's been backing up, though. Are you still... Oh, sweet. Yeah, when that's full, this becomes a wire depot. Love it. So good. What else we have there? Might be able to just go ahead and handcraft the last ones. Really want this power augmenter. I like how the things glitch in the um, the display too. Pretty fun. What should you be working on? Probably. I guess staters are okay. Yeah, I didn't have any staters. Seven more. That won't take very long. And now we can just send these in for tickets too, right? It might be worth setting up a manufacturer that's just getting us a bunch of tickets for these things. Because we could automate these completely now. With the exception of well, if I put a truck stop over there, we could bring the Sam over. Yay. Power Augmenter, I think is what it's called. Alien Tech. This I've not played with this at all. Ready, set, go. Power Augmenter unlocked. Summer sloops naturally harvest. Harvest. Yes, harvest <laughs> energy from distant Most. sources and distribute it locally. The power augmenter supercharges summer sloops by feeding it local power, increasing its harvesting range and efficiency, and thus power output. Basically, the more power it's given, the more it provides. Sweet. Do not loop the loop organ. It will shred and tear and unravel the threads. Many temples burned. Good to know. That confirms that hypothesis. What hypothesis? The lo the loop organ thing. It's a little creepy. Okay. Uh, now we need to know where to put this and what it costs to build. Special? Power. Tens? Oh, I can't build it yet. And it costs computers. We can build at least one of them. But I need 10 Summer Sloop. I've got five. Nuggets. You might be streaming for longer than you thought, folks. Because that is probably the faster way to get. Um, I don't think... This is just kind of like an ongoing, always need. Um, uh, I'll put that down at the bottom. Compacted coal was my idea for getting more power out of what we were doing. So 
Sweet Sandy, thank you for being absolutely awesome. I really appreciate it. And I know you may have to go soon, Sweet Sandy. Um, I, uh, I understand that it's getting a little bit late. This is also eating up my pipes like crazy. We do have more, though. That is a super fast way to move stuff. I gotta say, that's pretty cool. Once you know what you're doing. So what did we need? I think it was only the summer slips that was a bottleneck, right? Everything else we absolutely have. Well, we need a hundred. Um, no, that's the wrong menu. I needed this. 50, oh, that's not gonna be a problem. Yeah, so we're good. We just need the 10 summer slips. I'll put those away. Put those away so I don't spend them. Time for break, says the sunset. Long streams like this is important to stay on top of those. If you stream yourself, folks, don't skip breaks. It's um, it really is a huge difference for me. I know uh, if I stream for a long afternoon, I always enjoy it, but I, I definitely feel a lot less tired when I have frequent breaks. So go get a glass of water, uh, maybe even tag a friend, let them know that we're streaming, and I will see you in five to seven minutes.
All right. I think I know where we're going to put it. I think we're standing right where it's going to go. Well, maybe on the hill, not maybe that high. But we'll figure it out. Thank you very much, Sandy. That's now stuck. Just in time for sunrise. I think that's 100. It may not be. 83. Really? What did it get stuck on? Pipes, I guess? Oh, Sam. That's what happened. Yeah, I think um, we can take a look at the blueprint, I think, or the model for it without actually building it. Yeah, oh my goodness. Yeah, this is... It's a chonky... Chonky boy. Uh, oh, come on. So it has an input, weirdly. I don't think we're ever going to need it because I think that's an end game thing. But that is, I think, going to look pretty cool right up there. <laughs> uh, I need to figure out how many foundations it is. So we'll place it here. I'd say that's central. Right on the edge. It is. Oh my gosh, did they make it actually fit on a 3x3? Three three? Coffee stain, you beautiful. You beautiful monster. So 3x3 three three with a little bit of room for extra stuff. I think we can probably work with that. And that looks like the front to me. If there was to be a front. And if I was going to put that up there, I feel like I'd want it to face this way, I guess. I mean, we could always rotate it later, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Buildable. Once we grab the computers. Uh, oh no, I can't do it. Right, summer slip. Forget about that. Crap. I got all excited and I forgot that we can't do it. Um... Don't know how close or how far these are going to be. Take care, sweet Sandy. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, always fantastic to have you helping out and chat with the moderation. I don't know if we're going to be able to get five of these. That's probably one over there. And there's probably something up there. Probably our best bets. Let's go up to that side. And we'll do... old trick. Really cool when you go up. You can see all the electricity jamming around. It's fun. This is probably just a um, slug, unfortunately. We could get on the moth and see if we can spot any summer sloop from the air. That's a, probably not a bad idea.
That never stops being fun. For anybody that's wondering. Except for when it doesn't go where you want it to. Yeah, it's just a slug. From up here, I can see another slug. I feel like we'd be close enough to get a summer sloop reading off of that. I love that you can make that jump in this game. Um, that's annoying to listen to. I feel like we got the ones all along there. That used to be one, I think. That's unfortunate. Oh, I missed. Come on. No. Oh. Hard to do. Hard to do. All right. So we have... What does this cost? This costs... 10 summer sloop, 100 of those, 100 cable. So it's the 100, no, 50 and 100. So we'll do, there's the 10, but there's the 50. So everything else is kind of gravy. We can do the rest of it, no problem. Again, I have those set aside, so all of these can go into the shop, which is cool. Unless there's something else I want to unlock. Nope. Can't do that. We don't have the Mercer Spheres. If there was more summer slip around, then we'd be in better shape. So let me just grab um, some reference here. I'm going to put this up as a thumbnail. Uh, one of these is a thumbnail. Let's switch that to Ironhide. I think that's a decent image. I like that one too. Um, we'll go with that. Oh, well, it's a little small. And maybe we should move that over here. I wish OBS would let you snap to your other, your other, um, elements. All right. Hopefully that's lined up. I apologize if it's not. Um, so that's the mission, I guess, artistically what we're looking for. 
And the first thing I want to think about is like the floor here. And it's not going to be that. So what I'm thinking is maybe we switch that over to the architecture stuff. Then again, maybe we just need to change it to be a color instead. Now inside, we did not unlock the new signs yet. But here, if the roof goes up higher, I'm going to want to continue those supports up higher. I didn't build it into the blueprint because I wasn't sure what was going on. Um, it needs some sort of light in here. Also, I looked this up and these are supposed to be glowing and I don't know why. I don't know why they're not. Like, it's supposed to have this kind of orangey glow here and on the top and it's just, it's not there and I don't know why my my game is not doing that. So if anybody knows if it's a graphic setting that I need to change, let me know. Because I really wish it would. Um, we're thinking about windows. So I really like, um, you can see in the top, like, uh, his shoulders have got these cool kind of like heat vents, it almost looks like. They're red highlights. And then his, his abdomen has got like a cool um, grill to it as well. So I was thinking the grill could be down this end. And that could be kind of fun to have here. And we could light that up somehow. And that's where maybe we use these pillars. And then I can just do, like, one here. Sort of have that grill. Now, I know there's a way to do angled pillars, but we need to have the beams in order to do that. Like right away, that starts to look like a cool, a cool thing, right? I don't know if that's where I actually want the stuff to come out. We might have to think about a different way to do that. But if that can then somehow connect to where I feel like the roof is going to be, and I feel like I feel like that's probably tall enough, give or take. Oops. Then we could kind of get these to angle back. And I want to have some sort of ledge in front of them. So this would be, we'd almost want to have like a wall here as well. And then have a different shape come up over top. And this is where my little um, walls that I picked up earlier. 
Have you played more of Devastator since the patches came out? No, I've just been wanting to have like a hassle-free experience, so I really haven't done much. So it goes up and over. Where's the middle? Middle's gonna be over here. So this would probably want to be higher. sort of works. I might want to tweak it a little bit. See, right away that means that our wall is going to be there. And we want to have to try and connect this to be a roof. And then this could even just be flat, right? Here. see what I'm putting down. I think we maybe want to make that angle part longer. So the roof may not be quite the same shape. It gets a little bit tricky when you start to mix um, like half walls and walls that aren't lined up. You kind of want to go in increments of four if you can. Four meters, I mean. So this wall might be better off actually out here. And then all we have to do for these is just nudge them out, right? I feel like just like in Minecraft, you want to get like the spine of your roof in in order to make sure that it's actually going to work. And the shape for the roof. He's got a lot of like trapezoids in him. And I want there to be sections along the side that have like those vents. And I think the vents are going to be maybe like here. But we could have them lower. I find that sometimes you have to kind of block in where you want things to go and add the details later. Out of plates. That's surprising. I guess we've been mostly doing belts, and I forgot that when you start to build walls, you really start to, to get into the, the heavy use of building material. So I want to have 
love that kind of shape overhang. I don't have slanted walls yet, just these ones. That could be what I need though. That was gray and had stuff along here. And then I guess we'd have to try to figure out how to do triangle. No, it would be square across the top, but the triangle's at the bottom. So for that, we could do this. No, it's hard to see, but if I paint it, sort of start to see the shape that I might want to make and I have to figure out how to do the top part yeah it's gonna be tricky might have to make it wider I think that's doable. I may not want it to be that that close to the top here. We might have more tickets coming up here in a second. Just three. I feel like the, the tickets are getting farther apart. Can I get anything for three? Can you buy Summer Sloop? <laughs> you probably can't. I'm assuming you probably can't. No, that would be broken. Four for the roof, corners beams is what I would need for a lot of the angle stuff I want to do. Also four. That's annoying. Um, walls. Doors for three. Door walls. I think we have to wait for at least a couple more tickets. That sounds like a transformer, by the way. Every time I hear it, I feel like it sounds like a transformer. But we're slowly kind of picking away here. I put those vents there. And I have to do something with that. I do like that. I think the other thing I have to remember is that this is actually going to go down uh, to the ground. So this is probably not going to be here. It's going to be closer to that level.
So this hole would be probably a little bit lower and come in like under the edge there. Oh, you want, yeah, hassle for experiences. It is frustrating when the game you're playing is, is crashing all the time. We've had, we've had good luck with this. So I don't know if it's, I mean, I know it's partly a satisfactory thing. But it could also be a bit of my computer being silly too. I think part of my problem is that obviously a lot of this is stuff that I cannot visualize because I've got stuff in the way. So let's look at our copper. And I really am kind of stuck here creatively until I can get more tickets. So right now, we're just pumping this stuff into there. These are going across into stitched iron plates, but it's at a standstill. We've got to be pretty close to versatile frameworks being done too. 1200, uh, almost 1200 there too. So we're almost done with the versatile framework, which means all that can get pulled out. That's good. So what could we do, I guess, up here for this area? I love that we can make that jump. <laughs> um, this is probably a decent level what we'd want to do uh, either it up here or down there this does not feel like a through fair so I feel like this is also a good spot to put something if we wanted to hey look I have a chainsaw from the dimensional depot very cool So like I said before, we've got these two iron nodes down here that we can use for copper bits. We can also tweak this miner to do a lot more. This is only a number of uh, Mark 1 miner and we've got uh, power shards and a Mark 2. So this could be doing 300, but we are certainly not using that for copper right now. Um, so I guess what we could do, it would make sense to build over in this direction because that is going to be where um, the additional support of iron from there could come from. I don't want to go too close to the edge. Plus there's a spice here. Managed to get something uh, setting up this, uh, the space elevator and no crashes. I might even look at bumping the graphics back to looks <laughs> from looks like a potato. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. You want the game to look good, right? So I can understand why you might not want to, you know, why you might want to wait until it actually is something that's you know, functional. Maybe we'll go one more. What is that? Seven, eight. Weirdly, I prefer, I like to do odd numbers. How's that for a landing? A little close there.
Not that we can't go over that, but I just feel like we're cutting off kind of like a spot there. But this could be an excellent spot to put uh, copper. And it doesn't have to be this high. Yeah, if you have low everything, the game really struggles to look look good. Very flat. Very flat looking. Uh, I listened to Total Eclipse earlier mention that it looks like Borderlands if you don't have the right shaders on. Or the right ability. I feel like that's going to be pretty good. Because what are we doing? We're doing... The copper recipes are all just constructors right now. So iron wire, wire, cable, and copper sheets. And that's 20 copper ingots. So like we can do a lot. It's mostly just constructors. I guess the question is, do we want to do it way over there? Or do we want to try and move that closer somewhere? The other thing we could build, um, I guess that's another thought too. Rather than putting it next to those iron nodes, we could build it here and build it on top of the iron nodes and then just like take the iron right up into the factory, like directly vertical, and then just belt that over. I feel like that might be the better way to go too. Can I blow up those rocks? Out of curiosity. I can. That's cool. Because right here on the cliff could be fun too. Oops, that's the wrong key. We'll get one ticket anyway. I think I needed five. Four for roofs. And five for glass roof. Well, we can get the beams anyway. All Fix-It Awesome Shop purchases are purely intended for professional Fix-It employee business. Hmm. So now with the beams, one of the things you can do is create angles because the painted beam has different build modes so it can be default it can be diagonal or it can be freeform and with diagonal you can kind of just like set the angle and then these guys will snap to the edge of it Once you've got them set, you can then take that up at the angle that you want, and you can create this kind of cool, cool kind of like overlap. Now you can mess with it until you get them at the right, the right distance. So if you wanted to, you could even.
take the beam and stick it like not in the middle where I had it, but maybe even back there. And maybe you like line it up the diagonal. If I line it up here, maybe. That's in the middle. So if I went for like, say, if I aimed it at this, That is straight enough for me. So that's really close, right? I might even get it up here. So there's some trial and error, but you can really have it look pretty cool. And that's something I wanted to try. I think that might be a fun way to do, to do that front part. And now that we have beams, we can also do a little bit more in through here. So this could also be a different texture. So we can add different, like a lot of the chrome highlights that you see on Ironhide. A lot of that kind of metal finish I think could be good. There's also beam connectors as well. Help. Yeah, it is really cool that it's it's hard to to figure out like how to mess with it, but if you watch Fluxo, F L U X O, I think, uh, on YouTube or on Twitch, uh, Fluxo is like a creative builder. Uh, I I don't know if he does much for like the actual standard gameplay, uh, survival type stuff. But man, the things that he creates are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I am lining up the breaks with the nighttime cosmic, and I'm probably going to have to wrap this up soon. Um, I'm feeling like I want to do more, but I'm also feeling stuck at the same time. I've, I'm really feeling creatively bottlenecked by the awesome shop. Like, I'm I'm a little frustrated that we can't get tickets faster. And I think what I need to do is I need to set up our main factory. Like, I think that's maybe what we'll do the last little bit here is um, go and figure out, like, some numbers and see what might be um, possible. It's only gonna get us maybe one ticket, not even that. Yeah, it's fine. Don't have any of those. Yeah, like I could be sending a lot of this stuff overflow into the um, the awesome things. Um, well, we've got 900 iron. And I said that now it's motors that we need to figure out, right? So if we look at the motor recipe... We basically need, I figured that's enough. Five motors per minute, so 10 and 10. That gives us kind of like a, a backwards compatible thing to do. So if we look at my sheet for the, for the area. If we want to get to five motors per minute, that's five rotors. Per minute and then five staters per minute and then we just kind of pop over here just rather than going back and forth with the game 
I can go rotors. Now we have alternate recipe for rotors. Um, I am not doing screws and I am not doing screws. So we're using the steel rotor recipe. So that's steel rotor alternate. So we do, that can be the steel rotor alt. Uh, and that needs Ten pipes per minute and thirty wire wire per minute. So ten steel pipes per minute and thirty wire per minute. And the wire we can make out of iron if we want to. Although I need to look at that balance for the recipe. And that's gonna do five per minute. And that's not a lot. Like we could easily get that going. So take this down here. Staters are a different story. Staters are don't think we have any alts for staters. What I should do is sit next to my Sam or thing. Right, quick wire staters. I don't think that's a good swap. I think the stator recipe is 15 and 40, so it's the exact same thing, but it's just a lot. 15, 40, 15, 40, 15, 40, 15, 40, 15, 40. Uh, and this is going to be the standard standard recipe. And then we need to look at, so wire we can have potentially be the alt. Iron wire. And then steel pipes. Um, we, I think we're gonna go with regular steel pipes. So there's the iron pipe. We do have access to that, but it's 100 iron per minute. That gets you 25 per minute. But we also have... I think I've got access to the molded steel pipe. Let me go check to see what I have here. I think we've got the molded steel beam, actually. Cast screw. Steel screw. Maybe I selected it already. Oh, there's the steel rotor. So we know we have that. We know we've got the steel rotor. Uh, do I have that under pipes? I do have the iron pipe. Um, I do not have the other recipe. So what did I say? I said that iron pipe is 20 iron to 25 steel pipe. So iron pipe is 20 iron and it's 25 steel pipes that come out. But if we have the regular pipe recipe that is over on this tab it's 30 ingots of steel to 20 pipes so regular steel pipe 
you get 20 steel pipes per minute, but it's 30 steel ingots, right? Right. But 30 steel ingots with our solid steel ingot recipe. And the solid steel ingot recipe. 40 and 40 to 60. So that's 40 iron ingots, 40 coal, and that's 60 steel ingots. So what's happening here is we've got 40 iron ingots making 60. So the iron pipe is better. I thought it wasn't better. I thought somebody told me in chat the other day that it was not better. Maybe the ratio is wrong. Let me just let me just check in game here. I thought that it was cheaper than 40. No, it's 40. Okay. 30 in, 20 out. Do I have that right? Uh, 30 in, 20 out. Right. That means that for every 40 iron ingots, we can get 40 steel pipes. That's what it is, right? So 40 iron ingots here, 60 steel, but that means that we're doing twice that. So 60 steel. Um, so this would be for one for one um, foundry, one foundry. Too much math. Um, let me know if I'm, if it's too confusing. So one foundry, right? Making a solid steel inlet is forty iron and forty coal, and we've got access to coal that's not messing with our power. We've got a pure coal node in the in the biome, so. It's 40 iron to 60 steel ingots. And that gives us 40 steel pipes in total, right? Whereas up here, um, it's 20 iron ingots. Or is it iron ingots or is it iron? It's iron ingots, right? Yeah. 100 per minute. Oh. I got the, I did that. That's why I did it wrong. I was looking at the wrong number. I do this all the time. They do this. I think they do this on purpose. So it's 100. It's not, it's not 20. It's 20 per 100 per minute gives you 25 steel pipes. So to get to 40, uh, we'd have to add another 15. So what is that? equals 15 divided by 25 is another 60% equals that um, 100 times 0.6 is 6. So 160 iron versus 40 iron. Yeah, that's a lot. So it's better, I think, to go with the foundry because we've got coal. And because we need to make steel for other things, I don't have uh, anything to do with steel beams. Aluminum beam? Nope. Um, I do have the molded beam, but we still need the steel ingot. So this is probably what we're going to do um, in the foundry or the molded beam. That is in the foundry, really. Interesting. Okay. All right, well, that's at least one decision made. We're not going to do the steel, the iron pipe. We're probably not going to do the iron pipe. Might be fun late game, but right now, I don't think that's what we need to do. So then it's just iron ingots and coal. And this we're going to get, the iron ingots are going to come from the iron hide. Smeltery, right? So that's all coming in there. Uh, so we're not doing iron pipe. Nope, nope, nope. Regular steel pipe. But based on that, 
that goes in there. We're probably going to do the iron wire because I don't think that that's a better ratio. Plus, we only have one or two decent copper nodes in here. Wire is 15 to 30. Iron wire is 12.25 to 2.22.25. Of course, why would it be better? So that's a 2x. And this is not quite 2x, but you're saving. So it's it's less, it's it's you get less of an output, but you're not using copper. So I think we do iron wire for at least some of this. And then the steel pipes are our, the regular steel pipes. And yeah, that's it. So that's for, for motors. So really the rest of our iron is just gonna go to plates and rods. We don't have to worry about screws, which is fantastic. So there's no screws. Um, the rest of the iron is just plates and rods. We're gonna we've, we're gonna have all kinds of production going on. Um, obviously, we'll need a lot of wire for stitched iron plates and stuff. But I, again, like I've got we've got the iron for it, so I, I might not need to do much more in that copper facility than just like make. Um, steel sh uh, copper sheets for piping um, which I don't think we're doing right now so I should switch that over now that I think about it just stick that in another bin um, being split off you're just doing your own thing The thing about doing all the math when you're still in the game is, of course, you still get the opportunity to um, have stuff build up in the background. She's slow going now. Nuts. Jay Christ, welcome back. So I have to be careful where I put this factory floor because this guy's going to be driving through it. I love that he gets a little air <laughs> when he comes in. So where do you drive? Straight out or do you cut the corner? You go right through where I'm going to build something. Awesome. Yeah. 
Yep. I think I need to focus on getting some tickets unlocked. And I think the next thing we need to do is really move a lot of this temporary stuff. We should be actually done with the um, these now. Getting really close. Yeah, that's... Let's start dumping these into the machine. Because... Oh, it's way over there. We're going to use the tractor. This might take a little bit. A couple of trips. I need to dump my inventory here. We'll do a quick count before we go, just to see how close we are. Rune of one, runes of one. Thanks very much for the prime. That's amazing. I really appreciate you using your prime sub. That's full. And then we've got our inventory to sort. So what do we got? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred. That's a thousand. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's eleven hundred. I guess I could just put it all in my inventory, couldn't I? Yeah, we get we actually have a much bigger inventory now than I thought. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that's two fifty, and we need ten of those. So we're not quite there, right? Hundred, two hundred fifty. So we've got one, two. Three, four, there's a thousand. I'm not as close as I thought. So much easier if you're dealing with even numbers. Or I shouldn't say even numbers, but like just. So. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eighteen hundred. And that's two thousand. We still have another couple hundred to go. I thought we were I thought we were within a hundred at a glance. We'll still go drop it off though. Oh, wait a minute. I miss. I didn't get them all. We are a lot closer than I thought. Are we done? We might be done. Yeah, we're only like 40 something off. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 250. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're only 42 away. All right, yeah, we are doing this. Don't need that or this or that. Not even 42. We're 38 now away. Very cool. Honestly, we could probably drive. We could probably make two rounds. <laughs> And get there. That's exciting because when this is done, I can like I can shut down a lot of this and just send it all into storage, and that'll be a lot faster than what we're currently doing. I won't need that either. Actually, I could probably keep this one and delete the other ones. Would be the smarter way to do it. I think this thing is really annoying. 
I wish it didn't have an animation like every single time you touched it. We can't handcraft these, we just kind of have to do it. Uh, you know what I could do? I can grab a couple of power shards and boost this. Which I probably should have done already. Nope, that's the wrong thing. And then... Go get some beams. This will be done in a couple minutes. Sweet. Thirty more to go. Three minutes. All the power. Uh, runes of, of one. Um, sorry. Runes of Rue. Apologies. Reading too fast. Runes of Rue. If you want to connect your Discord and your Twitch, you can join us in the Joel Duggan Discord now that you've used a Prime. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, and again, as a reminder for anybody that is a satisfactory player, if you join the Patreon, then you have access to the blueprints that I've made. Uh, we've done a couple of blueprints here that involve uh, doing the smelters. And so if you're interested in having like access to blueprints like this that you might find handy, uh, as well as all the blueprints that I've done for the Devastator save, then you can check that out at uh, patreon.com slash joltuggan. Rue, thanks very much. I really appreciate it. And thanks for saying hi. Welcome in. First time in chat. Awesome. How'd you find the stream, if you don't mind me asking? It's sort of like watching paint dry, I know. Not my stream. The This last little bit of the production. Kept meaning to follow, but I listened to the podcast and finally caught up. Oh, very cool. Uh, Spawn Chunks podcast, I'm assuming. Ten more. I think I did the math, right? Both the Sponge Chunks and the Citadel Cafe. Fantastic. That's awesome. I'm glad that you listen. There's not a lot of people that listen to the Citadel Cafe. Um, I know there's some crossover, but I'm uh, very happy to hear it. Imagine having that advertisement for your stream, Joel. Come and watch the stream. It's like watching paint dry. Look, there was an ad in front of the Transformers 1 movie for like Benson Miller or some sort of like home paint. Uh, and... It was honestly, uh, their their tag was, it's such a pretty color, you'll want to watch it dry. That was the advertisement. It was just like, guys, I don't know. You're kind of pushing your luck. Your, your marketing team couldn't come up with anything else? Well, this is exciting that we've got the first part of this done. It's not that it's going to make this happen any sooner. The other parts are so complicated and so far away that I don't think it'll happen for us anytime soon but it'll be nice to remove this part of the um of the production complete down to the right math and everything so modular engines are next uh oh i made it
Sweet. So, uh, what's happening down here that we can now get rid of? Uh, we don't need you anymore. We don't need you anymore. Which means I can put the versatile framework in here. Don't know what 16 is going to get us. Probably not a lot. A little bit. Two more tickets. Uh, now, we... This can continue to do what it's doing. But we can just send this into storage. So we don't need uh, this guy down here anymore. Because these are all running off of a different set of things. Right. Okay. So I don't need you. You look over to that. This is going to look so much nicer. It's going to feel a lot more straight in my head, too. Uh, this can actually be redirected to storage. This will get a little bit more spaghetti-like as we start to redirect some of these over to storage. So this is going to go to here. No. Is it that one? Yeah, I guess this should be after rotors yeah let's put staters in there and this one will be mod jumper frames and we will just loop you around one two three four Same thing. One, two, hold on. One, two, three. Can't make it straight. It's all right. Those will go into storage. Uh, this was doing out. Oh, it's a merger. That's a splitter. What's happening in here? That's just stopped. So this should be a merger. We'll just put the merger on the end of this. Uh, of course. That would be too easy. Is that off? That's off. That's why that didn't line up. Oh, it's really off. Hmm. Weird. Um. Let's do it. This way. This 
so that'll send those into storage. Ugly, but it'll work. So that's the steel being sent to storage, 100%. That's good. Uh, I don't need this anymore. We can put that away. That's good. And then what was feeding this stuff? So I don't need this anymore. Which means I don't need... Oh, wow. Okay, so we still want rods. We still want rotors being made. That's happening there. Uh, the plates are still being needed for these, but these are not going anywhere. These should just be going into a bin now. So what are we doing here? Actually, I can do this down down the bottom, can't I? Yeah, we could pull these guys off of this line. Because that's doing two per minute. And it needs three, and we're making five and a half. Fortunately... That is, well, close enough. Turn that sideways, it'll be all right. check to make sure those go in. So then I can get rid of both of these. Oh, this is exciting. Because I need to, I really need to have this place clear so I can design this, this side of Ironhide. Yeah, so that's all of this gonna go. This is a fun way to wrap things up. I'm glad that we were able to get at least this part. I really feel like I did not make any progress today, if that makes any sense. That takes that out of commission. So we don't need that wire. We can still make wire. Uh, that just means that this could probably be reroded. Over there. Let's try that. So that'll keep those going. And don't need that anymore. 
Uh, are these now unpowered? Nope, we're good. And there was a plate line that needs to get tracked back as well. This can go all the way back here. And I don't need you. I don't need you. And I don't need you. I think everything else down this end is doing rods. I think I need all of this. Yeah, so that's being fed. We're making rods or rotors and screws, rods for screws. And all of this is still making rotors. Unfortunately, that still has to stay for now until we can sort this out. Uh, that and this and that can go. Yeah, it's a bit of a spaghetti mess, but it is working. So that's a lot tidier. Thanks so much, Cosmic. I really appreciate you being here. Have a good night. And then we can have to, we're gonna have to move some of this around. Okay, I think that's a pretty decent cleanup for the end of the stream. We'll grab our last Sam fluctuators and see what we ended up for tickets. We'll get maybe one more. Yeah. Total of three. Not even worth shopping. Everything I want is like five or six. So, I think that's an excellent way to wrap things up. I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing uh, Satisfactory. I do believe most of the Brits that I follow are probably no longer alive. But that's fine. Um, oh, that's a lot better. Just some steel going on, and that's going to be easy to move. Um, yeah, I think... I think we're going to be able to decorate this a lot faster now. Uh, and having the storage out here is going to be good just temporarily because it's close by. And it's all kind of bleeding off the end of, of this here. So we can probably set up a few things here that'll make things a lot easier. Uh, we sort of have an idea for copper. I think maybe the copper should span the edge of the cliff here and actually cover up these nodes. And that way we can just kind of keep it close to... Um, so the output of copper could be close to the output of iron. And both of those are going to go into whatever facility you have over here. And I think that'll be, that'll be good. Uh, this is going to make motors, I think. Um, I just don't know how many we, we need, so we'll have to figure that out. Uh, it's probably going to be based on the modular engine recipe. So we'll go from there because we'll have coal or steel in this end of it. And then we have got um, concrete there as well to bring in. So probably a decent location. Um, I really appreciate all the support, folks. If you... Um, if you followed today uh, and have received a gift sub or used a prime sub, then use the, dis the uh, Discord command and chat. Find your way over to the Discord. You should be able to connect your Twitch and your Discord accounts and join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. You can also do that on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And I have my blueprints now available on Patreon for anybody that supports on that page. Uh, and someone, I think it was CJ, asked if I might have access to the save files. And yeah, I don't mind. I can, I can certainly save those uh, and share those as well. Uh, I'll post in the Discord about that, and again, it'll be attached to Patreon. Uh, if you want to follow the podcasts that I do, it's very easy to find. Uh, it's thespunchunks.com or thecitadelcafe.com. They're both available by that name on um, YouTube, your favorite podcasting platforms. Very easy to find. You can also just search for my name on, on iTunes or Apple Music, and you'll find the podcasts as well. Uh, I really appreciate all the support. Thanks to Sweet Sandy and to Cosmic for the moderation. Uh, and the shadow moderation cosmic i really appreciate it and uh, once again we've got tier one subs are 25 percent off for the rest of the month uh, of september and for the next few days there are bonus subs so if you give five gift subs on the channel then twitch will give an extra 
gift sub to somebody else in the community. So uh, I really appreciate all the support. I don't know where I'm sending you. I'm just going to go look and see who's streaming satisfactory. I've got to raid and run because uh, it's been a long day for me, but a fun one. And I think we are in good shape to move on with this build. So I will see you folks tomorrow again, one o'clock Atlantic UTC minus four hours for more satisfactory to wrap up the week. Cheers. Bye for now.